Today is the day that I finally do my budget binder setup for 2024. Welcome if you are new and if you're a returning subscriber, hey, how are you doing? This is Denise Budgets. On this channel, you can find everything. Cash stuffing, saving challenges, budget breakdowns, and other miscellaneous things. If any of those things interest you, I hope that you wind up subscribing to my channel. So I'm going to start off by saying this will probably be like a, a decently long video. So grab a drink, grab a snack or anything that you need to say and watch this entire video. I am going to start off this video by saying in no shape or form do you need all of these things that I have here. When I first started like budgeting and cash stuffing back in college, I literally used envelopes from the dollar store like the envelopes that you send mail in and permanent markers to write down what the categories were. So this is the stuff that I decided to get because I wanted to be extra and I feel like as you get more into budgeting and cash stuffing, the more categories that you want um, to be more organized. So that is like basically what I have here. But no shape or form do you need all these binders or any of these envelopes. You can start small just like I did. All right, so we're going to get into this video. <laughs> And I never wanted to be a person with all these binders, but now I do. All right, so I'm switching things up a little bit this year. Nothing too extreme, but this things a little bit differently. So first off, I'm going to start off with my sinking funds binder. And as I go through this, I am going to be explaining like what each of my envelopes are for. Certain stuff is going to be like, you just know. Um, and then other things, it's just going to, I'll explain. All right, so this is my singing fun binder. So, toiletries. This is common sense is for any type of toiletries that I need. Car maintenance is for anything to do with my car. This year, I do plan on doing like weekly um, car washes because I need to do that. Date night is for any dates for my boyfriend with my boyfriend. Fitness is just for anything that I need, like um, any gym supplies. Fun. Is this for fun activities I do with my boyfriend because I specifically already have something for date night and you'll see why I'm changing like what money is going in this envelope. This envelope here is for gas. Um, I already do have a cash envelope for gas, but this envelope is just simply going to be for any rollover that I have because I stuff gas weekly. Health. I told you guys that I'm turning 26 this year, so I'm going to be on my own insurance soon and I want to make sure that I'm able to pay for that and as well as just have money for any type of medication, God forbid, that I need it or anything that I need like Tylenol, you know, simple stuff. If I get a cold robotussin, those type of things. Food. So I am taking my fitness. I I work out anyway, but I want to start meal prepping and I do live at home. So yes, my, I'm grateful enough that my mom does buy groceries for the whole entire house. But for anything that I need, I need or want extra um i am going to start stuffing this for extra food for me to meal prep throughout the week um aj this is for this is a new envelope this is for my boyfriend um amazon i decided to create this envelope because i I'm, as you know as many as cash budgeters do um uh, i love amazon and i will go buy stuff on amazon but i want to start budgeting for it and i did move my gifts envelope and my christmas envelope over here so I also want to say this. These are envelopes that I had like when I first started and I still had these stickers left. So instead of buying new labels and sticking on these envelopes because I am a fan of the zipper envelopes and I had so many of them. If you get um, binders from Amazon, the binders on Amazon come with these envelopes. So I was just able to use those and I just use these stickers. And I am actually thinking about getting another binder because just for my sinking fund because it's 12 envelopes in here and i'm thinking once it gets cash in here like this is not like it's already a struggle to close so i'm thinking about that tell me guys what you think and at this time i'm just going to show you guys my cash divider not cash dividers my cash envelopes so i have one for miscellaneous this will just be for like any extra spending during the week and these are from creating stacy i hope i'm saying that right um if you want to know where i got this stuff from you can check out my budget breakdown for the first paycheck of december and i showed this and have everything listed in the description box spending this is for any weekly spending eating out this is for like any weekly eating out gas 
and this is for gas during the week and drinks so instead of making this like specifically coffee um i decided to make this as drinks because if i want any type of drink when i'm out non-alcoholic but regular drinks and i'm like on the road or out and i don't have a drink with me water coffee tea any of those type of things that's not specific to coffee all right next up i did decide to create a personal binder here um because before this is where these envelopes came from the one that says gifts and christmas because i specifically got these labels from wish upon a flower i hope i'm saying these people names right on etsy um and i got them specifically for this binder because i thought the yellow would look super pretty with this but i decided to add a couple new categories and make myself my own specific binder for things for myself all right so birthday is in here clothes and shoes um this is specifically savings for my birthday clothes and shoes is just for any clothes and shoes that i want to purchase um and i want to budget for it perfume is for perfume of course you know smell good beauty is for literally anything skincare makeup those type of things because i did add a hair envelope before i was using beauty as my hair but i decided to make a hair envelope if i decide to go back to getting my nails done I'm not sure if I'm going to put that in beauty or self-care. But as of right now, I have decided that I'm going to not get my nails done for a long time in this year. And join the press-on gang. Because I have found people who do press-ons and it's minimal of what I was paying. Um, I do have really, really small nail beds. So I have to get customized um, press-on nails. And spending $120 almost every single month i don't I wasn't always spending 120 but it could be up to that depending on like what type of designs that i wanted so i can save that money and cut down the cost by a lot save hundreds hundred of dollars a month <laughs> personal this is just for anything personal i want such as like etsy um any stationary things that i want i need to be an etsy show <laughs> um i had somebody uh, comment on my video yesterday it was like um, I need to be Etsy Joe. Girl, me too. I'm staying far away from Etsy for right now. And then this one is for going out. This is specifically for me going out. This is different from my fun envelope because my fun envelope, I told you guys, that's going to be for like fun activities I do with my boyfriend. Um, but going out is going to be like anytime I decide to go out. If I decide to do bowling with my friends, go out to eat with my friends. Um, any activity I do with my friends, this will be for going out. And then I this envelope is different because I already made this envelope and I wasn't going to buy another label for it. And I don't mind it. I still like it. I like the silver sticker, so I'm okay with it. This is self-care. And this is going to be anything that I want to do. If I want to get a massage, if I want to get a facial. And this will probably still be for nails for now because I feel like for me getting my nails done was like a form of self-care. And um whenever I get wax done, this will be part of self-care and I'll put that money in here. If you guys need to take a break because I feel like this video has been going on for a little bit, uh, take a break. Alright, so this binder here, this binder is for uh, my long-term sinking funds and like big goals. So luxury, this is like anything luxury. I feel like luxury is anything that is luxury to you, but this is more so for me. Like handbags, if I decide I want another handbag, if I want to buy something for my laptop, for Mac, because you know Mac. Um, I said Mac. Apple is so expensive, so it's for those type of things. Moving out. This is specifically this binder is for moving out to move into my own place whenever I get enough money. Vacation. This is to take vacations throughout the year. Retirement. I say this all the time, but I do have a mutual fund, but I do want to start saving for retirement extra money just to save and put to the side medical school as i told many of you guys in a lot of my videos i have said specifically that i am applying for medical school this year so this is what this envelope is for emergency fund is for any emergencies and my goal for this year is to get this up to a thousand dollars and then this envelope here is for first home and this is for the first home that i want to purchase this might go coincide with um moving out because it depends i might purchase a home first whenever i move out move to an apartment first i'm not sure but i do want to save a decent amount of money in this year at least definitely over a thousand dollars 
so these are all my singing fun binders i will be adding another one because i just do not want to mess this up because it has 12 envelopes in here and i didn't notice that and i would have ordered another one when i ordered from amazon but i just didn't so i'm going to move these out of the way and also i want to ask you guys opinion on this I have a whole bunch of budget sheets and I never use them. People comment below, if you use a budget sheet, do you find that the budget sheet is helpful for you? I'm not sure if I'm going to add them. I have not decided yet, but I just have them. Now on to my three next binders. These are all for saving challenges. And I repeat, you do not need all of these for saving challenges. This is something that I'm just doing for myself. So this binder here will have all my mini saving challenges. This is not all of them. If you want to see my mini saving challenges, a lot of them that I do have, they were shown in my last two videos. My last one specifically because it was a lot of digital downloads from off of Etsy and I was just showcasing all of them. I didn't want to make this video way, way too long. So I decided to um, separate it. All right, so starting first off, I have this mini saving challenge here. This is for January. I decided not to do a full binder for like the yearly saving challenges because I just don't want all these binders. Um, I just don't feel like it's necessary. So I'm trying to keep it to a bare minimum, even though this is not a minimum. So I have one from for health here for waxing. And these are both from baddies and the bag. This is from Budget Paparazzi, and I didn't notice this when I was showing this to you guys in my um, budget breakdown video, but it equates as like a double challenge, so I love that, and you can make the hearts whatever you want. This is for saving for birthdays. Um, I'm going to use this ch challenge to save for my friend's birthday next month. It does not fit in here because it's a little too long, uh, way too long for the envelope, so it's just sitting out. This is Mother's Day saving. If anybody knows how to get rid of the um red permanent marker sharpie from off of the envelopes please tell me because i couldn't take it off but i could um take it off of this mother's day saving challenge i want to say for mother's day early and then i have this manifest saving challenge these are both for magnolia budgets um and i'm gonna save two dollars and then this one here is i, I always miss happy mail co um, and this saving challenge is from her and then I have this one back here which obviously doesn't fit but it's a mini from baddies in the bag so I'm starting those off for the year for my minis and all these mini saving challenges specifically will be used to fund my sinking funds and I got this idea I know many people do it but I got this idea specifically from Sita because and her channel is Sita's budgeting journey because i'm like why not make budgeting fun because i love the instant gratification that comes from completing mini saving challenges and watching people do it i have not done it yet so this is my year to get into mini saving challenges now this next binder here i had this one last year and these are challenges that i already had and did not complete so i'm just going to keep working on these which is bingo this five dollar saving challenge this that one um want to complete that and i am going to do the 25 envelope week saving challenge no way, shape, or form am I going to complete all these saving challenges all at the same time. But the goal is to save, 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 save. Um, and I don't know how I think I'm going to do all of this. I think I need multiple jobs to complete all of these. Um, I am going to start saving for Christmas early um, this year. So I, got, I have this one. Um, and then a car fund because I want to make sure that I'm able to have take care of my car without having to like pull from paychecks in there in my um binder already and the emergency fund so i was doing this one last year and the goal is just to finish this and then complete it again now i got an a5 this year i did not know a5s were this freaking big they are huge um and i did not know that they were this big but i absolutely love it because it's so much space i basically almost used all of the what do you call it all of the envelopes for this all right so i decided to i don't know if you guys can see from here i'm gonna open this one up to show you guys something really quickly again but i decided to do anything that was not like anything past 500 dollars. i decided to leave here um because i wanted to use this binder the a5 for larger saving challenges so this one's like 200 this one's 250 this one 
it's 450 but i took half of it out so once i'm done it should be about like i want to say maybe 280 um this one's 325 also i forgot to mention this i am going to switch up the way that i am doing this challenge this year because i feel like so many ones was just like not it i'm gonna try to move it closer so you guys can see so instead of putting one i'm gonna put five all the way up to five and when i go from six to ten i'm just gonna put ten and when i go from eleven to fifteen i'm just gonna put fifteen dollars for all of those and then sixteen to twenty i'm gonna put all twenty and then twenty one to twenty five i'm gonna put twenty five so i don't have any ones in this challenge and it's just for me to save extra uh yeah and then this christmas will amount to 450 car will be 375 and then this is 500 and of course that money will be moved once i complete it all right next i have this um girl just save and this is from wlm files and this one is 600 dollars. and i do i'm gonna try to i'm gonna open this this is still so new so it's a little hard what I like about this challenge is, is that it goes from 10 to 40. So, like, you could start off with the lower numbers or knock out all the larger numbers and then go smaller. But I thought this was a good saving challenge. Now, my one month ahead is more so going to go to either moving out or my first home. And this saves $1,000. And then I have this furniture challenge. And I got this from Magnolia Budgets. And did I leave... Give me one second, guys. I wanted to show you guys another challenge. So, I have this furniture challenge here. And I was trying to decide because I'm doing one month ahead already. I was trying to decide if I wanted, and I know this specifically, going to moving out and first home. I was trying to decide between doing this challenge because I did so bad with this one last year. And Black Friday, I did wind up spending money, so I know I need to save for this. But I may be thinking about starting this in March. So, give me your opinion. Do you think I should save for furniture or Black Friday first? They're both like $1,000 challenges. But for now, I'm just going to stick them both in there. Okay, this next one is vacay. And this comes with three different challenges. I think they're all in here. Two of them are $600. And one is $800. So I decided to move it over to here. And I already was using doing this challenge last year. But the goal is to really get up. Because I told you guys I want to take some vacations. Now, this is on to my games, something new that I am adding to my channel because I'm like, I really want to play games this year to make saving more fun. And watching everybody else save and do these things has made it more exciting for me. So, I got this Lucky Dice Challenge from Baddies in the Bag. And I decided to put all my games inside the A5 instead of another binder because I just feel like another binder. This is not necessarily, necessarily. And girl, you need to stop spending money. So with this, you use, they gave me a dice for this. It's a pink dice and I guess I'm going to roll it and I can roll it on here whenever I decide to play games. And whichever one I get, this is how much money I save. I hope I save far away from this six. <laughs> And it came with um, three other ones like this, but I'm just going to start off with one. Then I have rolled the dice. This is from Magnolia Budgets, and it looks like this. And then that Budget Life Alls, I got these from her. So I decided one of these, I cut these with scissors so it's a little janky y'all until like this morning i wound up going to staples and using the cutter that they had there for my other ones i don't know why i didn't think about this yesterday when i was doing it but for power up you're able to add your own amount so i decided to do, do three six nine twelve and fifteen and you see it's only one big number and for this game you roll two dice so you roll one die the first time and you decide a column then you roll another die and then you decide the row and this one is already preset for you. So it goes 1, 2, 5, 10, 20. And then this one is the cash dash game. And it just explains here how you play a game. I'll explain it when I play games. But I am excited for these two things. And now this last envelope here is for these two saving challenges. I decided to just put them 
in the same envelope because it's no way that like I can fit this in here. They do have a shut the box envelope, but I decided not to get it because I wasn't going to pay like five. It's not that I didn't have it, but it just didn't make sense to me to pay five dollars for an envelope and just shipping when I could just use the envelope that I already had. So this is shut the box. A lot of people already know about infamous shut the box. Oh, I'm out of frame. Sorry, guys. Everyone knows about the infamous shut the box game. A lot of people play it here on YouTube. And then this is rolling save. So from budget paparazzi. And I just I'm gonna turn this. Sorry. And I just decided to do both of these um in this one because it just makes the most sense for me guys this is all of my binders for this year um yes it seemed like a lot but i know that over time i could complete all these saving challenges and i might not complete them all this year and that's okay with me but at least i have them so if i want to move them into 2025 that's the goal but i will be completing all my mini saving challenges this year the ones that i purchased because i feel like that is um a good goal to have and a quick goal that I can do by just putting that money to the side. Another thing is this year I will not be stuffing a lot of money inside my sinking funds because I did get many saving challenges to um, accomplish that goal. And I'll be stuffing anywhere from two to eight dollars in my sinking funds um, for weekly um, sinking funds video besides like my cash envelopes because those will vary depending on things that I have going on and like how much gas I need. So most of my money will be going to saving challenges and those saving challenges that I complete will be funding my saving funds. And I feel like that is more fun for me to save than just weekly putting money into my singing funds but that is all for today guys i hope you stuck around and watch the whole entire video please like comment and subscribe below and i will catch you guys all on the next one